Welcome to Thrilled to Build. Today we're going to be looking at the Ice Planet 2002 Blizzard Baron set from 1993. It was a really fun set to have. It featured a whole lot of new translucent orange that had just come out that year. It had a total of eight translucent orange skis, two of the smaller radar dishes, a large dish on the back, the whip antenna, which was still a pretty new element back then, it had only been out a couple of years, and the front panel that formed the front cockpit. If you look at it from the bottom, you can see right here where the skis were used in a pretty clever way with the hinge element. They turned the skis into skids for the vehicle, where you can see right here, and they kind of slid across the ground. They also used that new element at the very front so it would slide across the ground and not scratch up the bottom a whole lot. It featured a 2x3 sloped printed brick on the front, which was really cool because they were printing all their elements back then, or a majority of them. It also featured that control panel up front as well. And then in the back it had the transceiver station that it carried, and that detaches as well. It was a really neat thing for it to have. We're going to go into a little bit more detail on that, as well as the minifigure here in a second. This set came with a single Ice Planet minifigure. Now he's just a normal minifigure, not the female or the commander. Uh, he has the normal hair, and as you can see, his chainsaw is blue as opposed to black like the, uh, the other ones are. Uh, this is just one of the two sets that came with the blue chainsaw body. All the other ones were normally black. Um, as you can see, he has to stand with his skis on, otherwise with that chainsaw being out so far, he'll fall forward, or he has to be on a base plate. Uh, otherwise, like I said, he has so much counterweight that he'll fall forward, even with his, with his air tanks on. But he's still a pretty cool little minifigure to add to your collection. I, I really liked having several of these things going around with their, their skis and, and scouring the countryside looking for the, for the backpacks and stuff like that. So here he is working on the transceiver, as you can see, with it separated on the back of the vehicle. One thing I was kind of unsure about with this vehicle was whether or not it flew or not. Uh, because you see it has wings, but it doesn't have a totally enclosed cockpit. I always like to play like it flew because I've always loved vehicles that fly, but it was definitely a lot of fun to, to play with as a child. So, you can still find these on eBay pretty easy. Um, they're, they're sometimes easy to find, sometimes... I don't know, sometimes they're not easy to find. If you do find them, they're, they're a lot of fun to snatch up and add to your collection. So, I hope you enjoyed my review here on Thrilled to Build. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you back. Thanks a lot.